Oh my god. Fresno hot sauce is not something that I had done before, but after the first time, I realized that I needed way more peppers than I had previously previously gotten so I went into my local Whole Foods and I pretty much emptied my wallet into Jeff Bezos's bank account balled out and got probably 4,000 Fresno peppers probably 300 jalapeno peppers and then I also got one other type of pepper habanero <laughs> yes I used habanero peppers am I crazy oh I'm probably a little bit crazy. I think I'm going crazy. Is it due to med school? No. Anyway, this was my chance to redeem myself from the last hot sauce I made. Ice is the best. Ice is the best. It wasn't that good. It was bad. It wasn't spicy. I don't know. It's not spicy at all. <laughs> like, you could just drink this stuff. So I pretty much gloved up. and divided these guys into two batches. This time I did a Fresno and habanero hot sauce and I did a jalapeno habanero hot sauce. I added habanero to both sauces because I'm a masochist. I added habanero to both hot sauces because I was afraid the Fresno one or maybe the jalapeno one would end up like it did last time which is pretty much weird tasting ketchup. So I went ahead and I chopped up all of them and I pitted them and I didn't put the seeds in them just did the whole deal I also added turmeric to both of these sauces and as many of my fellow fermenters know a 2.5 percent brine is a standard brine solution that we're gonna go with if you want instructions on how to do 2.5 percent brine you can go to what's his name pro home cooks cuz that guy's just a better human than I am in all aspects but I put these peppers into storage in their homes in their nooks and crannies on November 24th. November 24th was a good day. It was also the time right before I started Neuroscience Part 2, probably one of the most difficult classes in my opinion. I left my peppers fermenting for 23 days. Anyway, I found a gap in my studying, and that gap was, of course, when I was in the mid middle of studying new material, which is a great time to stop and completely ditch that and process all of your fermented goods. I'm going to tell you one thing. These peppers are literally like noxious substance. When I opened the pepper jar, this weird gas just like went straight into my nostril and like I was taken back. Many memories flashed before my eyes in that moment. And what I did was blend it all up. Shout out to Blendtec, my third sponsor. Put some roasted garlic in it because that sounds fancy and also it helps out the flavor a lot. Like straight up peppers and not. And what else did I put? I put some lemon, I put some salt in there. It is worth noting that there was a decent amount of mold growing on top of the plastic bags in here, which I'm not too concerned with. But, you know, what is good is this bacteria that we found on the bottom. That's, that's some good stuff. You really want to get that in there. It's a very stimulating process. You're just getting freaking hot sauce fumes repeatedly up the nose. I'll tell you a secret. Last night, my left, like, nostril was just, like, stinging for half of the night. I think it's because the fumes are just so powerful. So, we are trying these hot sauces that I made last night. And the first one is the jalapeno and... Oh, that's too much. The jalapeno habanero turmeric hot sauce. And I would describe this as, like, a pea soup type fluid. Oh my god. So this is really spicy by his help. Um and you can tell it's it's the kind of spice that's not with the flavor. It's sort of like added to it afterwards. 
it's like an afterburn sort of. I think it's primarily due to the habanero um, in there because I, I think there's like maybe three habaneros in this entire batch and the majority of it is jalapenos, but those habaneros, they are gonna do some damage, so you cannot mess around with those. This stuff is not weak. Um, why do I do this to myself? Oh my god. This is straight up heavy cream. Mm. Oh yeah. This is, of course, our habanero and Fresno hot sauce. That's too much again. What am I doing? Go back in. Can't waste this. This stuff is gold. Slightly contaminated spoon. Oh, let me. Mmm. Okay. Compared to the jalapeno sauce, this one is definitely more flavorful and I think it's more fruity, but it still is spicy as you can tell by my disabled tongue. Anyway, this has been red and green hot sauces because it's the holiday season um, and I'm falling asleep. Okay, if you guys have Fresnos, jalapenos, etc. Just put them in some salt water and let it sit for like a while and see what happens. Um, be careful. Watch your nose.